What's up you guys, James Strickland here. Welcome to week 10 on my road to 2100 pounds and my continuation on my road to 700 pounds on bench press. This week, I've got a couple of big lifts on tap. Uh, first one is gonna be a 650 pound bench called for on day one. And uh, day two, I've got a top set of 700 on squats. So uh, we'll get started here with day one. This is uh, one of my last warm-ups. And uh, this particular day um, was uh, yeah pretty pretty good, pretty decent. I felt pretty warm. Um, obviously, I don't really know until I get to my first couple singles here. And uh, so 585, uh, moving, moving not too bad. Um, I've had it move faster. So uh, moving on here to, uh, let's see, I believe this is uh, 605 here. And actually, this might be... 625 yes yeah, 625 here so this is my last uh, warm-up and on this particular day um, did not have a, um, a liftoff and that was mostly due to the fact that uh, I didn't have anybody at the gym that I trusted enough to really um, you know lift off and help me out so I um, didn't want to take any chances. Uh, I'm, I know my own liftoffs. Uh, it does take a little bit of energy out of me to do my own liftoffs, but uh, I know if I can lift it off, I can, I can pretty much press it. This is a side view of 625. Nice pause and a steady push there. Uh, so this, is a, this was actually a gym PR uh, for self liftoff last year about this time. I had a, a video go pretty viral on YouTube, uh, 620, no liftoff, no spot. That was a five pound PR to that. Uh, I wasn't sure uh, about the 650 for this particular day because I didn't really have a good liftoff. Um, the gentleman behind me, I don't know him, uh, so it was nothing against him. It's just uh, I would rather take this. Um, obviously, I have the safety bar set up, so I would never advocate doing any kind of self liftoff without those at a minimum. So pause wasn't too bad. I would have actually liked to pause it a little bit longer. I lost a little tightness at the bottom of the lift. That's why you see that slow uh, but steady uh, ascent. And so I'll take that. Uh, that's actually uh, a, a 25 pound PR on top of what I just did. Um, it uh, moved a lot better than last week's 640, which was a little bit out of the groove. Uh, being a no lift off, uh, no spot situation, uh, it's do or die. Um, of course, if I had to bail on it, I could uh, I could definitely let it come back down on those pins and I will be unharmed. So here's a side view of that 650. Pause didn't look too bad on that one. Uh, I did lose tightness uh, right at the bottom of the lift, but uh, I'm happy with that. Um, that actually will be um, a lot smoother uh, next week. We'll be moving up to upwards of 660 uh, as a last heavy bench day before the meet. Uh, so I'm excited about that. We'll have a definitely, <laughs> we'll definitely have a self, uh, I'm sorry, a lift off uh, on that day, and uh, we will make sure that that is a prime uh, lift. So moving on, I've got some uh, speed reps here, 500 pounds, three sets of two. Basically, just working on getting a solid pause and firing up as quickly as possible. Typically, that first set uh, is a little different. Uh, I don't. Uh, I don't move the bar quite as fast right after my heavy singles as I do the subsequent sets here. Uh, second and third set definitely move a lot faster. Uh, that's just uh, basically acclimating to a speed rep versus a strength power rep. Um, so I am happy with those. Moving on, I've got uh, some band work here. Last week you saw me move up to about 455 with about 130 pounds of band tension. Uh, these are great for maintaining 100% resistance through the full range of motion. Uh, at the bottom on my chest is about 66 pounds or so of band tension plus the bar weight. Uh, and then at the top it's about a 132 pound increase uh, as it goes up. So the first set here is 410 on the bar for a single. The second set here is 460 on the bar. And that's right about 590 at the top with full resistance. 
And moving on here is uh, five plates, 495 on the bar, which puts it right about 630 at the top, full resistance. These feel very, very good. Uh, these are definitely helping through the mid sticking point. Uh, if you've noticed, uh, even on that 650, it slows down about six inches off my chest. These bands will help maintain um, a full 100% uh, muscle engagement throughout the whole lift. Uh, you'll notice that uh, either the top of your lift, the bottom, or the mid range of your lift, you actually kind of coast through typically with any standard uh, bench press. When you have bands, you cannot afford to coast through at all. You will bottom out. Uh, so that really does help in, engage through the whole lift. Uh, that alone helped move um, the weight faster this week than last week. Uh, so look forward to the 650 um, speed with probably 20 pounds more on the bar next week. Uh, moving on here, got uh, some dumbbell pause floor flies. This is 60 pound dumbbells, uh, two sets of 12. Uh, going through these, actually, my pecs feel really, really tight, uh, just burned out uh, at this point. Uh, so on video, they actually don't look too bad. I was a little concerned that I wasn't getting low enough and that I wasn't getting a good enough squeeze. But uh, looking at it on video, uh, in between sets, I was, uh, you know, I feel a lot better about them. So really, listening to your body during workout is key, but sometimes you need that video feedback or have a partner tell you, um, you know, where you're at. Um, in terms of your range of motion, uh, you know, squats, anything else that you really can't see, you know, mirrors can lie. Uh, so definitely uh, use uh, tools at your disposal to, to give you the feedback that you need during your training. Because um, sometimes your, your mind will lie to you or you'll, you'll be under fatigue or stress and it doesn't give you uh, the feedback or the biofeedback that you would normally expect your body to give you. Sometimes it does. So moving on here, uh, next uh, set is uh, standing cable one arm rows. I've moved them up a little bit. Last week it was more kind of like a lawnmower uh, row. Uh, this is working just a little bit different angle. Uh, it also allows me to kind of keep that lower back out of the, of the mix, keep it fresh for later in the week and squats uh, in a couple days. This is, uh, let's see, we're working on RPE scale here. So it's about 130 pounds or so and uh, moved it up just a notch for the next couple sets, but this is uh, four sets, uh, I'm sorry, three sets of 10. Really getting a tight, good squeeze at the back and twisting that arm just for some flexion there. Uh, really getting good range of motion. And actually, uh, you'll notice, uh, if you look at, if you've been following my recaps, uh, that my volume has obviously dropped drastically. Uh, the time in the gym has dropped as well. Uh, the number of sets that I do has dropped and the number of reps has dropped. Uh, the weight typically is, uh, has been going up, but because the reps are dropped, uh, it does compensate. I'm able to put a lot more strength uh, and energy into the weight and not necessarily thinking about doing a bunch of reps. So I am concentrating here on uh, mind-muscle connection, uh, not worried about repping out a bunch of reps with uh, this particular exercise. Everything has a purpose, uh, as I've said before, in meat prep uh, and in training in general, honestly. Um, but uh, meat prep is really not only just a physical prep uh, of the training that's been going on the last few weeks, uh, but uh, a mental prep, really getting your mind right, focusing on the task at hand. Uh, a lot of my meat prep is also getting rid of a lot of extra stress, uh, whatever I can possibly do outside the gym to make uh, my training better, uh, make the meet day better. Uh, last thing I want to do is go into a meet with a bunch of uh, outside stresses, uh, if I can take care of those. Either it be, um, you know, anything stupid, you know, outstanding bills, uh, car troubles, if I can fix those beforehand, uh, family issues, you know, if you're arguing with somebody, you know, you're, whatever the case may be, they might sound stupid, uh, but in terms of all that, those are things that I do not want to have on my mind if I could help it on meat day. So I'm two weeks out. Uh, I definitely want to be getting rid of that or starting to, to try to get rid of that uh, as much as possible. Uh, that's just one of my, I guess, uh, secrets, if you will. Uh, last thing on the agenda for day one is tricep rope. This is 170 pounds, uh, three sets. Uh, first set is 12, second is 10, uh, last is eight. Really working on 
getting a good contraction in that tricep. Um, this is very, very heavy, but uh, it feels a lot lighter every week. Uh, really pounding the triceps. Those are a staple in my bench press. If my triceps can handle the weight, my pecs can handle the weight, the weight's gonna go up. Uh, you won't see me having a problem at the very top with a lockout. Uh, definitely not due to tricep strength. Uh, so that is a staple and a trademark of my particular um, personal bench press. Uh, so you won't see me at the top of a lift missing it. Uh, so I really work on nailing the triceps. The band work is really helping the mid-range. Obviously the flies and, and pause benching helps with the lower. All right, so moving on, day two. I was actually really nervous about this day. Um, first set here is uh, 650 for one. This is serving as a first working set, but it's also a warm-up. Today we are working up to 700 pounds, which will be a 15-pound PR over uh, about three weeks ago when I did 685, which moved a little sluggish uh, and actually was uh, kind of a miscalculation. It was supposed to be 675, but didn't calculate the squat bar into that. So this actually felt really weird. Uh, it took me a little bit to get over those uh, hooks but the squat itself felt really solid. Uh, I was a little worried uh, when I walked that 650 out that 750 more pounds was gonna be a little bit of a, an issue, but uh, got my mind right, sat out for about 10 minutes, and uh, got some help to get this bar lifted up uh, out into position. Uh, obviously, that won't be a problem on heat day because I'll have the rack height uh, a little bit more customized. Here we go. This lift uh, pretty much uh, was going to make or break my, my week because uh, squats is one of the things that I was pretty worried about uh, getting up uh, into the 700 range. Of course, 705 is the goal for the meet. Regardless of how it feels, if it feels a lot better, I think I'm going to just go ahead and do 705 and call it a day. We can worry about uh, getting a, a big PR uh, at a later, later date. Really happy with that depth that will pass in any federation. Uh, so I wanted to hold on to that bar just because I just could not believe that that's what 700 felt like. It was very, very easy uh, walk in the park. Uh, like I said, I had no idea 700 was gonna feel that easy. That was easier than the 650. So here we got a little bit of overload work. This is to really fire up the CNS. This is 775 pounds for a 10 count. Um, and this is basically just standing up and holding it, letting the body get used to really, really heavy weight. This has been an issue uh, with my mental state. When I go into squats, as soon as I pick it up, it's very squattable, if you will, but it just feels heavy and it, it freaks me out. Uh, it's just a mental block, and I'm getting rid of that slowly with these walkouts and with these um, uh, these heavy holds. So uh, moving on, we've got um, speed squats. This is 500 pounds on the bar, two sets of two. Really working on firing out of the hole with intent. Uh, same principle as speed bench. It actually takes me a little, like I said, on sp on speed bench, it takes me a little bit to get out of the hole. Um, uh, or I'm sorry, not to get up to speed. So obviously this looks a lot faster being the second set. No big deal, I mean, threw it off my back. Uh, same thing with bench uh, and, and even with deadlifts. Uh, when I go from a heavy single, moving uh, to even lower weight, but having to speed rep it, I just need to get my body acclimated to the speed. And so we've got uh, next set is Olympic squats, a little bit narrow, uh, narrow getting more into the, uh, the quads. These are paused. 455 on the bar, two sets of three. Working on really pausing it just to, to fire off uh, those, those hamstrings and those, uh, those quads, really actively engaging, squeezing that butt. Uh, all these things will matter on meet day. It'll make everything move so much easier. The goal is to conserve energy for squat. I want a, I want a 705 squat. Um, I want to be able to get it with ease so I have a lot of energy left over for bench. I literally want to treat this meat as a bench only meat 
but doing a 705 squat go. before getting the bench out of the way 705 is the goal on the bench and coming back with whatever i can get on deadlift um, realistically uh, being at a 725 with pretty uh, about three weeks out uh, on deadlift i think 755 is a pretty moderate goal for deadlift um, I definitely, secondary goal of the 700 bench is a 2165 total. You heard that right, 2165, not 2100. And uh, who knows, we'll see what happens on that third attempt. Uh, deadlifts have been feeling really, really good. Uh, these are weighted GHRs. Uh, this is just a 10 pound chain that I've got on. So body weights on this particular day was about 280, high 280s, so 289 or so. This is three sets of six reps. We're really working on firing off from those hamstrings. Uh, hamstrings are a weakness of mine. Uh, quads have never been uh, a problem, so I really do focus on working uh, through pull-throughs and through GHRs, really working on getting these hamstrings stronger. Um, obviously, always working on my weakest link uh, because when it becomes my strongest point, something else will become my weakest link and I can work on that. That's how you get stronger using that methodology uh, is, is how I've grown my numbers as quickly as I have. Very much injury free. Uh, of course, a lot of that does uh, factor in, or, or I'm not obviously factoring into this, the rest, the recovery, being smart during my training, diet, all that is huge. Uh, it's not just about uh, the rest. Uh, last thing for day two is some overhand, uh, double overhand uh, deadlift holds. First one is uh, 425, and second one is 375. These are 15 second holds. Uh, these actually really, really build up the calluses and get the grip strength do it uh, well. It's, it's not terribly heavy, but holding it for that long, it will work uh, that grip. So that's a wrap for day two. Very excited with that 700 pound squat, 650 pound bench on day one and moving on this is a little bit lighter day but i definitely take it seriously um, i actually didn't have a lot of time this particular day so i went straight into uh, my front raises my front lateral and bent over fly um, you'll see that i take a slight break in between the giant sets uh, as a uh, precaution because i didn't get a proper warm-up and in order to really uh, not want to i don't want to injure my my shoulders uh, I didn't want to just fire off um, the 12 sets, 12 or 12 reps, 12 rep, 12, 12 reps, because uh, you really do get a good burn with these. You'll notice on the second set here, uh, just two sets of 12, 12, and 12. Um, I actually did not take a break in between because uh, the shoulders were pretty warm. I took about a five-minute rest between the first major set and the second one. Um, but that is just a uh, kind of on-the-fly decision that I made. Uh, typically, I'll work up, I uh, did some band work, I did some slight push-ups, but I didn't get to go through the 10s and the 15s uh, like I normally would like to. Uh, abbreviated that a little bit, but here I feel a lot more warm. I feel comfortable with going through the whole set um, without uh, you know, injuring myself. Obviously, I don't want to injure myself on something as light as dumbbells, but this set here uh, can do wonders, but it can also hurt you if you don't do it right. And this is, uh, like I've said before on videos, this is a maintenance day on shoulders. Not real worried about building the shoulders up too much. The strength in the shoulders uh, is obviously at the level it needs to be. It's just a matter of keeping the shoulders warm. Uh, I'm also pretty sore on, uh, this was uh, done on a Thursday. Um, and so actually, I'm sorry, this was done on a Friday. And so I have deadlifts the next day. I didn't wanna uh, waste too much energy but I also want to make sure I get this day in because I, I'm still sore from my Monday bench, believe it or not. So this served as a, uh, as a great um, a lactic acid releaser, uh, getting me loose in the gym, uh, getting some blood flow. So moving on, these are the um, standing one arm rear delt flies. Changed the angle up a couple weeks back so you guys can really see keeping that arm straight. Uh, not working anything but the delt there. This is uh, 40 pounds, three sets of 12. 
went ahead and just did the first two sets back to back, pretty lightweight. I uh, felt good about just keeping the burn going on there. Uh, it would have probably been a little too much to not take a break uh, between the second and third set. So you'll see obviously a fade. I took about a three minute rest or so in between those two sets. But really it's based on feel. I wanna make sure that I'm not, uh, not taxing the muscle too much. Uh, I don't wanna sit around too long either and get cold, uh, but it really is based on feel. Like I said, I was kinda, uh, I was in a rush on this particular day, but I'm never gonna be in such a, such a rush that I'm going to hurt myself. Uh, so it's just time management a little more than normal uh, on this particular workout. I had about 45 minutes to do day three and uh, got it done. So looking at the numbers for the meet, the uh, 700 squat puts me within five pounds of my projected uh, goal, which is 705 for squat at the meet. My bench uh, in the gym uh, right now is 650, obviously. Uh, that's the only one that's a little bit behind, but bench is a little different. Uh, I don't have to work up to uh, the weight in bench uh, as closely. I can gain, uh, you know, if I'm within uh, 30 pounds or so, uh, or even or even more, uh, of bench within uh, a week or so of the meat. The fatigue that strips off uh, the last week or so with the taper, the deload, and uh, obviously being in the meat with all the adrenaline flowing uh, on meat day uh, will easily make up that weight. Um, so if uh, if you guys are kind of like I used to be when I first started powerlifting, I always thought I had to hit my numbers before the meat. That is not the case, uh, especially if you're in staying true to how powerlifting is supposed to work. You should go through your cycle and get uh, pretty close to your numbers. Now, deadlift and squat are pretty much token numbers at this meet, believe it or not. Uh, bench is the focus, uh, so I'm treating that uh, a little bit differently. But um, So I've sped up the push-ups here. These are the close grip push-ups. I've actually got six sets of 28 reps. Um, Working on really just staying uh, with tightness, not really full range. Uh, really wanting to make sure those triceps are, are getting some work. The pecs do a little bit of work on these. Um, but uh, last set of the day is the wide grip CD rows with 220. This is three sets of 10. It's really working on that back. And so the last thing, uh, deadlifts. Um, I am at 725 right now uh, on meet day, uh, easily. Uh, could add 30 pounds to that, uh, the way that it moved on, you know, a couple weeks back. Obviously, the strength has increased. Uh, probably pull about 750 uh, if I had to today. Uh, so I am not worried about that. Uh, the thing that I need to focus the most on is uh, technique, making sure that I do uh, do not get any red lights. That's the goal for the meet. I want to go uh, perfect meet and. Uh, definitely want to reserve energy. I do not want to be walking around the meat, playing around. Uh, it is 100% business and uh, going to treat it as such. So putting it all together on meat day is a different animal, but uh, having a plan uh, and sticking with it is one of uh, many ways to make sure that that, uh, that happens. So moving on to day four here. This is done on a Saturday morning. These are paused squats, 365, uh, just five reps, really to open everything up, wake everything up, get it going uh, before my deadlift. Today I've got uh, a pretty nominal set, uh, 650 for two. Uh, I'd be lying to you if I said I didn't worry about it a little bit because uh, technically in a meet, 672 is my PR. So working well within 90% of that for two um, is, uh, a little bit a uh, little bit worrisome but that's just all part of the game uh, if I wasn't serious about it uh, you know I, I would come in here and probably uh, end up hurting myself because I wouldn't be too worried about the weight and being that I am two weeks out 
there is uh, nothing to be played with. Everything has a purpose. So these are uh, my box jumps. This is 45, 45 inches, five reps here, supersetted right after the squats. And uh, those squats were paused, obviously. And this is really just to open everything up, get the central nervous system firing on all cylinders, get my speed, because in deadlift, if I can lift it fast and furious, it will lift. So have a little step over there just to keep uh, compression forces down. Uh, I can easily just jump off that, no big deal, but uh, just saving the knees and making sure that there's no problems there. Uh, I've been very, very lucky. Uh, of course, I, I do preserve the knees quite a bit. Uh, to not have uh, knee issues, wearing sleeves even during this just keeps the knees warm. Uh, it's a preventative measure. But knees are extremely healthy, always have been, even when I played football back uh, a few years back. So uh, straight into the 650 after my warm-ups. I'm not showing you guys any warm-up sets. Happy with that. Didn't let go, didn't want to lose grip. Very happy with the speed of that. After this set, I really feel like I could have done 650. So this is just a side shot, same exact lift. This camera set up at a different angle just to watch form, make sure everything is moving correctly. Mostly worried uh, about uh, form on meet day. I want to make sure that I'm locking the hips, locking the knees, getting everything set. Boom. Boom. Happy with that. No problems whatsoever. Got a drop set here. This is my speed reps, 500. As you can see, that just quite uh, isn't quite as fast uh, as you'll see. Obviously, this one is. Boom. Boom. It's just the curse of my speed after heavy singles. This is four sets of two here with the uh, 500. Boom. Moving on here, I got some pull throughs, definitely for the hammies. I want to make sure those are strong. These are based on RPEs. Uh, the goal was about an RPE 7, RPE 8, so pretty, uh, pretty much a warm up uh, weight. I wanted to really you know, focus on squeezing. First set's 165, second one's 185, really getting uh, leaning in there and uh, getting a good stretch really humping, uh, treating it as if I'm humping the bar for deadlift. This is a good finisher, uh, making sure that uh, the hips, the glutes are strong and are not going to fail me when I need them to get that lockout on that heavy deadlift. So weighed in at about 284 on this morning. Uh, so I will be uh, a pretty light 308 going into this meet. The goal is definitely to stay 308 regardless. Uh, I won't be cutting or anything like that, uh, possibly for the next meet, but this one I uh, really want to focus on uh, grabbing that, uh, that not only that full meet bench record, but the bench only record um, for the 308 weight class, 701 by Scott Mendelson. So got some Meadows, Meadows Rose here, it's 180 pounds. Three sets of five reps. Another back exercise. Hitting the back multiple times a week. Back is crucial to every lift, bench included. So the plan. Um, is that the heavy squats and heavy deadlifts uh, are a wrap. No more heavy squats, no more heavy deadlifts. Uh, in fact, next week's heavy bench day will probably be the last day of workout before the meet. I like to take about 10 to 12 days, if possible, completely off, meaning I don't even enter the gym with the purpose of lifting any weights. Um, if this was any other meet, I may do the sauna, may do some hot tub, I still might just to 
kind of recover a little bit, but I'm not looking to cut any weight. I don't want to sweat anything off. So the purpose will be just to get my mind right, just whatever I need to do to relax, uh, you know, massages, things like that. Last couple things here, some close grip, uh, a neutral grip lat pull downs is 230 pounds. Uh, it's three sets of eight. Another back exercise. So like I said, um, part of the, uh, the meat prep at this point now is, uh, or most of it at this point now, is mental. It's getting massages, it is getting stresses down, uh, making my body feel good, uh, eating right, um, relaxing, uh, and really just uh, focusing on the task at hand, and sometimes not focusing on it at all, because I'll think about it too much. Uh, so really just... Um, only doing what I can do, what will actually benefit me. Uh, everybody's a little bit different in that um, regard. Some people really like to think about the meat and focus and visualize. I'm a little bit less visual until we get closer until we're actually at the meat. Um, most of the numbers are already done. I just need to make them official. So uh, if I can get my last bench day in, I feel very confident uh, that I'll be at the strength level plus some that I was at the last meet. And that's all we need. Got some, uh, obviously the static plate holds out of the way, working on grip and landmines are the last thing just to work on that core. But um, I want to thank you guys for tuning in on week 10. Next week, like I said, we'll probably have about 660 or more on the bench. We have a short recap next week. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Please like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at SwimHack, and I will see you guys next week. Thanks so much.